Hi squaddies, how are you doing? Welcome back to our YouTube channel, to another video, to another article with me, your girl Doreen. So buckle up and let's take this ride. Um, the title of this video's article is Did King Charles meet Prince Harry, Meghan's children, Archie and Lilibet? Why is it about King Charles? Why is it about him? Why are we concerned whether he has met the kids? And we also, if he wants to take the, to see the kids, he can fly to Montecito, go see them, then go back to his royal duties. You know, if he wanted to see the kids more frequently, he could not have taken back the Frogmore cottage. And him taking back that cottage was a clear message. You know what? I don't want to see you guys. I don't want you guys in my life. That was the message that he sent. And honestly, Harry asked him that question. Don't you want to see your grandchildren? And in spite of being asked that question, he still took back the cottage, which I believe was not right. Because the king is not the one who had given that cottage to Harry and Meghan. You know, it was a gift from Queen Elizabeth to Harry and Meghan. But because of, I don't know, anger or jealousy or simply because the truth was finally coming out about what the royal family really looked like and he didn't want that, he wanted to disempower Harry and Meghan, he took it back, you know? Thinking that they will come back crawling and beg begging, telling him, please give us back the cottage, you know? But that wasn't going to happen because bullying was not going to work on Harry and Meghan anymore. Anyway, let's see what the article has to say before we say it for them. So continuing, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were evicted then from Frogmore Cottage last year as they were asked to vacate the property by King Charles, you know, which was a message saying, I don't want you guys in my life. I don't want to see you guys no more. You know, King Charles has not meant Prince Archie or Princess Lily, but in 2023, as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children live in Montecito with their parents. Since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from royal duties and moved to the United States in 2020, King Charles has hardly seen Prince Archie, but may have only seen Princess Lilibet once, according to royal commentators. And I'm like, why are you guys acting like you're complaining? You know, he is the one who took the place where, when the kids came to visit him, they could stay. He is the one who took all that, you know, sending the message very clearly, you know. And it's neither Harry nor Meghan's fault that King Charles has not met the kids. This is all on King Charles. This is all on his shoulders. This is his responsibility to carry. Um, This comes after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were evicted. Um, from Frogmore Cottage last year as they were asked to vacate the property by King Charles. By who, ladies and gentlemen? By King Charles. Royal commentator Michael Cole said the situation was very sad because when the king asked Prince Harry and his wife to vacate Frogmore Cottage, Harry said, doesn't the king want to see his grandchildren? Well, the fact is, he is not seeing his grandchildren. And whose fault is that, ladies and gentlemen? That is King Charles' fault. If he wanted to see his grandchildren, he should have let Harry and Meghan have the cottage. You know? Continuing. He has hardly seen Prince Archie, and I am not sure he has ever seen Princess Lilibet more than once. It is very sad state of affairs, the royal expert says. And I'm like, this is all on King Charles' shoulders. Because he had a chance, and he has had these chances multiple of times. You know, so we cannot say this is a one-time offense. You know, he has had the chance to choose his family over the institution over and over again. Over and over again. But every time, he has decided to choose the institution. You know, so this, this is not 
on Harry, on Meghan, on Archie, on Lilibet. This is purely on King Charles. And it's really, really sad that a grandfather, you know, can keep choosing an institution, a toxic institution for that matter, over his family, over his son, over his grandson, over his granddaughter, over and over again. And I honestly don't believe if today King Charles is given another opportunity, guys, he's still going to choose the institution. You know? I believe so. He's still going to make the same mistake. And then the media is going to try and turn that story around and pin all the blame on Harry and Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex has not visited Britain throughout 2023 and her absence looks likely to continue as Prince Harry reportedly turned down an invitation to reunite with his family in 2024. The couple were invited to the Duke of Westminster's wedding which will take place during the summer of 2024 which King Charles, Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton are all expected to attend and I'm like it's completely it's completely okay for Meghan not not to want to go back to the UK because that's a place that holds really toxic memories for her it's a place that drove her to the edge of her life literally and it's okay it's understandable that she is not ready to go back to that place you know and it's not her fault you know, and the people that literally tried to bring her down are the ones now who are trying to blame her for her kids not going to that place to see them. And my question is, would you take to your kids to a place that was completely harmful to you? You know, would you take your kids to a place that nearly destroyed you, to a place that nearly took your life from you? I bet you wouldn't. And so, if, and I'm gonna keep saying this, if the king really wanted to see Archie and Lilibet, he could have let Harry and Meghan keep having the Frogmore cottage to themselves. Because I think this would have assured Harry and Meghan that when they took the kids to the UK, that they would have their own place, you know? that they will be able to protect them from whatever harm the institution will try to bring upon Archie and Lilibet. You know, that would have given that assurance, that security. But without that, it's okay for Meghan and Harry not to allow the kids to go to that place or even allow themselves to go to that place. Continuing. Um, the couple turned down the invest invitation due to fears it would be too awkward. It was reported Meghan Markle was last in the UK for Queen Elizabeth's two funeral in September 2022, while Prince Harry attended his father's coronation on his own in May 2023, as his wife decided to stay away from the event. She also did not join Prince Harry at the World Child Awards in September 2023, despite traveling to Germany for the Invictus Games. And again, it's completely okay that Meghan does not want to go to that place, you know? It's okay. It's okay that she is not ready. Probably someday she'll be ready to go back there. But for now, it's okay that she is not. And my message to King Charles, if you wanted to see your grandchildren, you could have let Harry and Meghan keep having the cottage to themselves. This is considering the fact that once they were given the cottage as you know, as a gift by Queen Elizabeth, they literally used their own money to renovate that place. You know, to make that place seem like a home for them, to make that place a home for Archie, a home for Lilibet. They used money from their pockets. But once, you know, I don't know if King Charles was trying to punish them. Once he decided, you know what, I'm going to punish you guys. Once the institution wanted to punish Harry for revealing the truth about what the institution really looks like. You know, they took that away from them. Something that they hold dear, something that they, you know, they had, 
renovated to their tastes. They did not respect that. They did not respect the fact that Harry and Meghan had put in the effort to make that cottage their space, to make that cottage their home, to make that cottage safe for their kids. And I'm like, if you dare, if you guys dared took something so precious to Harry and Meghan, you know, you dared to take it away from them. What if the kids are allowed to come, you know, to the UK, to the palace for a weekend? What will you guys do? You know? Anyway, until the next episode, bye-bye.